morning. Thank you for coming. It'd be nice to break out with a joke. Thank 
Today with some prayer and reflection on the rosary. The rosary for us as Catholics is a meditation on the life of Jesus and we today as it applies to Victor's life. So different family members will be sharing some reflections and uh, prayer with us. If you need a rosary, we have them in the back as a church you can find them back there. And so you're welcome to kneel or to be seated during the rosary, whatever you're more comfortable with. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven. There he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our first glorious mystery is the resurrection. And I'd like to invite Marty to share his reflection. Thank you all for attending the celebration of Victor's life. For as long as I can remember, Victor always had a smile on his face. That'll be evident. We have a montage with about 200 pictures, and every picture he's got that white lid. Well, I soon learned quickly how to tell the difference between his normal smile and his sneaky smile. You see, Vic and his brother Scooby put me through a few trials before finally accepting me. I guess they figured I wasn't going to be as strict as her mother. Well, I wanted to be the best stepdad possible. So that first year, I volunteered to be Victor's soccer coach. Mind you, I was a 37-year-old bachelor with no kids, and all of a sudden, I'm in charge of 15 other eight-year-olds. My first challenge was trying to figure out what a charge mark was, since the team voted that to be our mascot. So first thing I did ask Victor, I didn't really remember this, ask Victor when we got home what a Charizard was, and he ran to his bedroom and got me the Pokemon card and said, this is a Charizard, you can keep it. And I still have that card today. I continue to be involved in Victor's sporting pursuits. I'll never forget today, we attended a Father's Day run. I had run in a few races in the past with Vic, but he failed to tell me that this would be a six mile run. Anyway, I fell behind after the first mile, but he was patiently waiting for there, waiting for me at the finish line, cheering me on with a few of his Buchanan buddies. Just hearing his voice kicked me into high gear. I guess deep down I didn't want to disappoint him. I also had the distinct pleasure of being Vic's sparring partner in karate. His uncle Mark was preparing him for his black belt, which it seemed he passed with the greatest of ease due to his incredible sense of balance. I guess the point that I'm trying to make is that I was truly blessed. I was blessed to go from a lonely bachelor to experiencing the pride of being a parent. Don't get me wrong, there were disappointments on both sides. 
but how many dads can say that they witnessed a beautiful performance from their son in a production of the Nutcracker? Thank you.
just put it in your heart because I know you have more in you. So never give up. And then he added, so don't go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So don't go home and tell your parents how it means to you because I don't want to have to explain all this to them. I had to laugh because it was like looking in a mirror. As a martial arts instructor, there's nothing more rewarding than to see my students recognize their strengths and weaknesses and continue to practice Pluto. Perfect character. Victor definitely exemplified this process. He never gave up trying to improve in all aspects of his life. Proud to be Vic's uncle, and we proud to have been his karate instructor.
dressing in black, and more recently I noticed he embraced looking dapper. But I believe Victor's largest growth in evolution came when he decided to move to Reno and later Tulsa for work. Victor and I once had a conversation about what it was like to live away from the place and people you grew up with and how you could reinvent who you were and what your life was about. A restart of sorts, without judgment from those who knew you best and a way to get a fresh start on life and meeting new friends. Victor often came back home and invested in his family through shared experiences with the kids, with his uncles, with his aunts, and especially with his friends. He was an amazingly involved godfather and an uncle to my children when they left. I struggled with thinking about uh, his passion. And um, I'm comforted in knowing that he likely showed up to his gates with crazy red hair, maybe a couple dragon tattoos, a box of Pokemon cards, some form of piercing tight jeans, along with a beautiful smile. I'd like to invite her to join us in prayer. Let us offer this decade for all of Victor's aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, and nephews that he was so close to. May they continue to celebrate our family Victor passion for life. All Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hear now, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, Thanks, 
slapping. <laughs> Never turned into the Simon Lake before. Sorry, I'm saying here. My bad. I was told I couldn't go off the cuff and embrace one of our favorite mottos of you wait until the last minute, it only takes a minute. <laughs> so thanks, Vic. Come in clutch, finish the assignment. Vic and I were 10 months apart. So naturally, we grew up almost doing everything together. Riding bikes. Fleeing from a swarm of yellow jackets while hiking in Kings Canyon National Park. Watching movies. Indulging in one of the specialties. Your yellow double fudge chocolate brownies. Eating way more batter than probably some friends. Singing along to whatever was on his latest CD, Bird Mix. That went completely out of tune and probably making up the words as we went along. Buckled up in his nieces, beloved <laughs> ass man, affectionately referred to as the Well, driving to the beach from what Uncle Marty assured us was another shortcut. He embraced my inner nerd, waiting in line all night just so he could get me the newest Harry Potter book for my birthday. We partnered up with everything that required teens. You don't know our family, we're a big competitive. And we sold the title for rainy Easter egg costumes. He was my biggest fan, wrapping me up so tight and smiling from ear to ear when I told him I'd get accepted to go to school at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. And immediately I was a bit nervous to leave home. But all he'd say is, don't worry, it's time for you to be a big dog. Some could say that my cousin was strong willed. I vividly remember this time driving back in karate, where Marty and Vic were in a heated discussion. Safe to say that the tension there was just a tad high. But Vic, <laughs> all his pre-teen wisdom, showed no signs of backing down. Before you knew him, we were pulled over on the side of 168 in Ashland, and the ultimatum was issued. Knock it off, or walk home. We were nowhere near the house, Fresno Heath was beaten down on us. But rather than accept defeat, he quickly unbuckled his seatbelt and scrambled out of the car. No words were exchanged as we drove off, minus a couple passengers. <laughs> but the effects weren't about to get off the car and walk home. And all I could think was, what a stubborn young man. <laughs> Big, thanks for always keeping us laughing and keeping us helping us see the lighter side of life. Don't be scared. It's time for you to be a big dog. Let us pray for all of Victor's friends, from his friends he made at school, at work, and throughout his life. May we be inspired by his love, family, and his adventure for life. Our Father,
Victor is in God's hands, and by God's grace, we will meet again. I'd like to invite Michelle to lead us in prayer. Let us offer this decade for all who struggle in life with depression, mental illness, or addiction, that they will be led to the freedom of God's love and mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into Love. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Please stand for the gospel. Even when we were kids, he woke up smiling, which kind of irritated me. <laughs> You're not supposed to smile when you wake up. <laughs> Victor was kind, though, and very patient with people. He worked extremely hard and was very well liked by different people, by the different people he worked with. He he would make me laugh because at his latest because at his latest job, he worked with a lot of older Mexican ladies who also worked extremely hard. He would complain that they worked too hard, and they were always yelling, Mas <laughs> If you don't know, my first job was quality assurance, so you can imagine how fast his little fingers had to work to keep up the pace. He was good at what he did. He, he was also easy to talk to. He made a lot of outrageous comments, but I would like to share something Victor wrote. There have been many trials and errors throughout this year, but I'm proud to say this year has gone from okay to bad, to okay to great, with much potential for this upcoming year. It's odd for me to look at pictures from the past and remember so vividly those different times and feelings like they were just yesterday. But then I look at my life now, and all those memories begin to seem so foreign and distant, not in a bad way, but just that it was a different time in my life. It's taken me a long time to figure this one, but the past is the past for a reason. It's to teach us and help us grow to the people we want to be, not to be dwelt upon for sadness of missing, missing cherished memories, nor wishing for a different outcome. Your head, you're here and now, and the only thing that lies ahead of you is your own path. If you want change, then make it happen. Remember, the only thing that will forever remain the same is change. It can be a hard concept to swallow, but accept it and move forward. So let's make the most of ourselves and hail in this new year with a promise to change the parts of ourselves that need to be changed to progress to where we want to be. I really hope every single one of you has a safe and great new year. Victor the Victor. I'm Linda Vick's older sister. They call me Lynn, and I call him Pooch. I will end with a letter. My hope is that even though this is a letter from me to my brother, you will all relate in some ways to its content. Dear Vick, I remember how excited I was when Mom told Anita and I that she was pregnant with you. I loved Scooby and I knew that I would love you too. What I didn't know was how similar we would become. Everyone said you and I were the same. We were built the same. 
We looked the same. We acted the same. We thought somewhat the same. And we loved the same. I must admit, though, I didn't always like taking care of you when mom worked. I was a teenager and wanted to be carefree. But just as quickly as I would get upset for having to babysit or pick up after you, you would do something so funny or endearing that I would have to laugh and my heart would melt. Like the times I would stare at myself in the mirror as I brushed my hair or put my makeup on, only to spot a G.I. Joe action figure staring at me from inside the plant where you had strategically placed it. <laughs> or watching you flutter around the soccer field because you had no interest in the sport at all. <laughs> These are now such wonderful memories. As a teenager and young adult, to watch you excel in karate, ballet, and running was astounding. Your body moved with grace and beauty, and I could sit in awe knowing how blessed I was that you were my little brother. I was proud of you for moving to Reno a few years ago for a fresh start. I remember our long talks at Starbucks where we shared so many treasured secrets. And even though I knew how much I would miss you, you assured me the move was a good thing. I loved our talks, Vic. You were sincere and sensitive and always had the courage to better yourself. Vic, you have taught and shown me so much in the last week. I am eternally grateful to learn of the connections you had with friends, coworkers, teachers, neighbors, and family. The connections you made with people were deep and lasting. Your sincerity and willingness to see and understand people without judgment spoke volumes about your humanity. And because of your childlike ways to your leadership in the workplace, you have the unique ability to form and nourish relationships with both children and adults. You have taught me, as well as countless others, that where there is optimism and hope, there is light and new beginnings. We did not lose you. God's promises are real, and we know where you are. In heaven, we will be together again. All my love forever, Pooch. Amen. Before Mass begins, uh, Victor's nephews and niece uh, have a small tribute for him.
Victor touched our lives and was a blessing for us, and I invite you to give him your blessing. If you raise your hand over his room. For in your hands, Father of mercy, we commend Victor in that sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he rises with him, and we give you thanks for the blessings you gave him in this life, for his family and all of his friends, for their signs to us of your goodness. Open the gates of paradise to Victor, and help us remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And on behalf of Denise and all of her family, we thank you for coming and celebrating this Mass. We'll be going to St. Peter's Cemetery for a blessing at the grave. The reception will be here at uh, the, in the hall. So if you're not going out to the cemetery, you're welcome to go over to the hall. We'll be back as soon as we do the blessing. Um, there's directions inside the program of how to get out to the cemetery. So if you didn't get one, you can get one on your way out. And my prayer for all of you is that the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, in our Catholic faith. Welcome to come up. There will be ministers throughout the church. If you're not a Catholic, but would like to come up for a blessing, if you cross your arms, the minister will give a blessing with the Eucharist. Or you're welcome to remain seated and make this your own time for reflection.
scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose the word of the Lord.
they all except for one and I have a son. So um, we're gonna offer grace in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we're about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. May victory rest in the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. So the food should be ready in just a few moments. So, um, and they'll give you, they'll let you know when it's ready. Yeah. From the bottom of our hearts, thanking everybody for coming. We really appreciate it. It's, I just feel the love. We feel the love. And I just couldn't have been happier with a better send-off. I think my family couldn't have been happier with a better send-off. So thank you for coming today. The other thing that I wanted to know or tell you guys, um, with a lot of people leaving now, just want to let you guys know, please Feel free to take any picture that you see on this table. We've made enough copies and things, so take whatever you want. Take it on the way out. Um, you're welcome to them. And again, thank you for loving my brother. Thank you for loving us, and thank you for being here.
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We turn to God in prayer. Lord, by your own three days in the tomb, you bless the graves of all who believe in you, and you make the grave a sign of hope, even as it claims our body. The grand dead victor may sleep here in peace as you awaken him now to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. And he will see you face to face, and in your life will see light and know the splendor of God. So we ask you, Lord, Bless this crown, make it for you. Because God has chosen to call victory to himself, we commit now his remains to the earth, for we are destined, and to dust we shall return. But Jesus will change our bodies to be like his in glory, for he has risen the firstborn from the dead. And so we commend victory to the Lord. You consoled Mary and Martha, in their distress, draw near to all those who mourn for Victor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. You raise the dead to life, give Victor eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Our brother was washed in baptism, received the gift of Eucharist, and has been anointed its confirmation. May he now share with all the fellowship of your saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Together as his family, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of Victor. Do not count any deeds against her, for in his heart he desired and loved you. And as his faith united him to your people on earth, so may now your mercy join him to the angels. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. For Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful and you attend to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your last kingdom. Eternal rest grant unto victory, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. 
and may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Lord, I ask you to bless these crosses, the signs of victory, new life, and Christ. here we invite everybody to join us back at the church for the reception and our prayer is always that the Lord be with you and the Almighty God bless all of you the Father, Son and Holy Spirit our service today is to go in the peace of Christ thank you Thank <laughs> you. 
Ha, ha, ha.